thing, and then Takera has a lot of um, strings that end in up airs. So, I feel like this is quite a neutral stage for both characters, and I feel like uh, it'll be a good fight, hopefully, that we get to watch. I know these two have definitely played before in the past. I can't remember who has the better record over each other, but I think in terms of players, like, skill-wise, these two are definitely uh, even, and the best representatives of said particular characters in uh, the country, perhaps even in the world. Takara, low-key, best player in the world. Sorry, Jozo. Actually, no. I love you, Jozo. I'm kidding. But for Banjo, definitely. <laughs> As we see Toriyuri immediately uh, deleting Takara stock uh, within the first 30-ish seconds with uh, that read of Takara aggressively uh, mashing out with an air. And Toriyuri just wonder wings him for it. Now has Takara at the ledge here. He's doing brilliantly at the moment while nearing uh, to lap him in percent at the moment. And he's taken Takara's jump and all it is is a simple Wonder Wing that's going to take the second stock. Torikuri is on a roll. Quick out of shield up smash. Takara with the, oh! My God, he just ran up and tattooed and then read the jump, which was, okay, sure. I mean, that's one way to respond, but you still have another whole stock to take. And, and again, Briegel Blaster like that, that isn't too encouraging at the moment here. One really good string from Takara, uh, followed by uh, quick response in damage from Toriguri, who's definitely trying to... Uh, he's okay, he's okay. Good now from Toriguri. Trying to play grounded here, but he's going to get jump, uh, j jumped on by Takara for it. Damage racking up. Tries to mash out. Uh, no, sorry. Tries to read Takara mashing out of the Regal Blaster, but doesn't work out. Torikuri still a whole stock ahead. Never mind. Never mind to that as well. Takara just patiently waiting for that one opening, and he finally gets it with the down tilt into the shore where you can. I think Takara playing grounded in these situations will definitely work out the best for him. That's some really creative uh, custom combos to react to Torikuri's DI out. Gets a back air and a quick 30%, but Torikuri, despite being caught up on, still definitely has the lead. Definitely uh, the explosive start that Torikuri had to that game, uh, that like that burst of momentum at Edgy, and Takara's found his footing here in this particular situation. Kara at the ledge and Torikuri reading the roll and that is going to be game one going in his favor. Clutching out in that situation was massive there because I've seen so many of uh, like instances in this venue where Takara on stream just like scares his opponent shitless and uh, manages to clutch out a game. It's happened way too many times. Alright, Pokemon Zone 2. Sure. <laughs> I feel I don't know, man. I feel like Briegel Blaster, whenever, like, Torigiri is in that mode, it's just, like, so awkward. Like, this, the, the hits are so... And I don't want that one guy in the YouTube comment section to like write like a whole essay about how Banjo's Pregal Blaster is the best move of all time because it's not but like it, it, it looks so awkward because it ends up being damaged whenever it connects but it's so awkward to kind of play around it if you're together <laughs> it, it, it's like this awkward moment where you're just staring at each other and Torigiri's like yup yup I'm doing this I'm doing this how are you going to respond ah a little too low for that um, Wonder Wing to connect 
off of the platform. I like the idea from Toriguri, but Takara uh, maintains his stock. And that was a little scary. Toriguri running away and Takara trying to chase him down with those up tilts. That's what Takara's known for. Just scouting out these rolls and defensive options with the uh, up tilts and down tilts into quick confirms. It's, it's like it's the Takara. Sharking down from under with that short view cannon. Hang on a second. One up tilt, but Toriguri manages to jump away from it. Oh, that's a. Uh, yep. Toriguri let go of shield there because he didn't want to get shield broken, but. Or maybe it was a shield poke. Either way, Takara manages to find the stock, but Toriguri finds the stock immediately afterwards with a quick confirm involving the Beagle Buster. That's all true, by the way. You can DI out of it, but it's, it's uh, quite rough if. Toriguri manages to catch you uh, in a close position. Good coverage with the back air from Toriguri, but Takara manages to down tilt out of it. Creative recovery, trying to be aggressive from the ledge, which Toriguri is, uh, he, he does that quite commonly. Nice uh, roll read, actually. That would have covered the jump as well. Never get the, uh, the platform in that situation. Okay, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine. Tries to go for a ledge pump with the tattoo, but it doesn't work out and it falls flat onto Kara's face. Now Toriguri's the aggressor and tries to read uh, a roll perhaps or a neutral get up. Doesn't work out, but Toriguri hits a nair and he's still on advantage. Just realized after that. Oh, that's it. Yeah, he did that earlier. It was the nair into stopping uh, his opponent's momentum to catch him with a weak up tilt and then just finish it off with a short view again. Kara likes doing that one quite a lot. Really good kill confirm, and now we have Max Rage to Kara, which you never want to deal with. Toriguri trying to find, yet again, it's those uh, Regal Blaster confirms. Tries to catch uh, Toriguri moving away. Quick damage. Oh, quite surprised. I think Toriguri probably tried to read the spot dodge in that situation. And no way are you dead. Wow. That's the Max Rage definitely coming through because if. Takara wasn't at max rage, I don't think that would have killed. And there it is, Takara responding immediately, making the most out of that situation. And as I said, you do not want to deal with a max rage Takara because he can kill you from God knows where. Doesn't need to be a Shoryuken. Press the button, bro. Press the button, Takara. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, his ass is thinking with the stage bands. I just look behind me. He is he is pondering in thought. Fair enough. Alright, small battlefield, and this is where both uh, characters really start to thrive. Because Toriguri can, uh, I mean, both players can kill their opponents at God knows how early. For the reasons that I explained why FD kind of would tend to be quite a passive stage. I think with small battlefield, you're going to see a lot of explosiveness coming out from both ends. Which is definitely a word that you wouldn't really hear come out of uh, someone commentating a banjo player, but Toriguri is just known for that aggression and relentless uh, frame trapping. So it's Takara though that has the good start, 61% ragged up in Toriguri already. A good string might put him in a rough spot, trying to look for that late nair. Takara loves back hit of nair. You can, you can just tell he, he loves connecting that because it, ah, oh, yeah, again, we almost saw it connecting to the down air, which the Meteor Spike might have been able to do it. Uh, but Toriguri survives, and now he gets a really good string off of it. Loki, I think I saw this on Twitter. Someone made a down tilt tier list, and I completely agree with the fact that they put Toriguri's down tilt, uh, uh, not Toriguri's down tilt, Banjo's down tilt, uh, top 10. Banjo down tilt is so, so good. Without how active it is, it's a disjoint, and it, like, the range it covers is it, it, it's insane. So good at the ledge. And uh, low profiles, too, so you can use it in neutral. And it's uh, specifically what Toriguri used to secure that stock there. Uh, well, it was instrumental in doing so, but Takara finally manages to respond, 
84% on him, so he's definitely in uh, a bit of a deficit, but we'll see how quickly he manages to cover for it. Gets a grab and really smart with the forward throw to look for a tech chase and gets a little more off of it. That's really good from Takero. Wow. Didn't know you could do that, but it makes sense. Sorry, Guri trying to one wing out of disadvantage. Uh, DIing down on the Nair, which is smart. You didn't want to get uh, shorted in that situation. Sorry, Guri exploding because of his own grenade. Game dead even. Oh, first of all! <laughs> That was so good from Tori Curry. <laughs> Burst of creativity off of uh, the footstool. I don't think the footstool was intentional, but that was really good to be able to respond to it in time. And then forward air, the completely correct place. Forward air wasn't going to confirm into a sure use, so Takara uh, decided not to do so, but the down tilt definitely will. Yet again, the game is dead even. We have a 1 1. It's a brilliant set that we've gone to watch here. Both players paying a lot more patiently. Which of the two is going to be able to find the opportunity in fighting LY in Grand Finals? So far, kind of tell. Sorry, Guri definitely with a slight lead though. He's starting to extend that. Might get something off the platform. Actually tries to reverse. I think the, the, the Regal Blaster, but he doesn't manage to do that. Landing back air into the net tilt. Is that true? Because I feel like that's true like 99% of the time. It might be. Tries to read the early recovery with the air smash. Doesn't work out. Mind you, I think that can two frame if I remember correctly. Quick air tilt. Takera has just been in disadvantage for the past 20, 30 seconds and he can't do anything about it. Needs to look for an opening immediately. And with the max raise, that might help him. But never mind, Toriguri manages to cover for the jump with the forward air. And that puts him in grand finals. What a loser's run this guy's been on because he got kicked out in winner's quarters, if I remember correctly. Yeah, by Gorioka. And I think I had to commentate that one. And ever since, he, he, he's been on a tear of a loser's run at the moment. And now he finally uh, gets the opportunity to fight in some upper grands, which I haven't seen Toriguri get to in a minute. So good for him. And obviously another great performance for Takara, who manages to place third today. LY always looks fresh to death, bro. That's something that I've realized. Like, he, he has, like, he, he wears, like, the coolest things. He's a very cool guy, LY. Same with Nero, too. What's it with Japanese comic books, man? 